guys, welcome back to my channel Lissy Builds. For today's video we are announcing the top 10 of my shell challenge and the winner and the winner will be contacted on um, the origin or the gallery within 24 hours of me posting this video. Um, so basically you could change the wall height from small, medium and large which you'll see me demonstrate now. So you could change the wall height, not a problem. You could raise the foundation as high as you wanted and you can keep it without a foundation. You cannot change the exterior walls like so and above. You cannot do that. You also cannot add a basement. So I'm just going through the description now with the basement tool. You couldn't, I couldn't even find the basement tool, but I found it in the end. You cannot change and add a basement. That's not allowed. You also cannot add a third floor, that was against the rules, no third floors. But you could add a little building to any side, as many as you wanted, as long as they were not touching the exterior walls of my own build. You could also change the position the house faces. Now this build wasn't on a big enough lot for me to do that, so it wouldn't let me turn it, but you could change the direction the build is facing, you know, rotate it. So without further ado, the top 10. So in 10th place was Shalia77. I, I apologise if I pronounce any of these wrong. I really loved this build, like the aesthetic of it. It was really pretty. It was very homely. And we're going to go on a little walkthrough of the interior now as well. I loved like the colour scheme with like the greens and the yellows. Very natural. Um, there were many good builds brilliant builds in this. I also did find this random piece of wood and I wasn't sure why it was there so I just kind of left it. Um, sometimes when I download builds things go missing or just slightly. It's not anyone's fault it's just a glitch I currently have. We're lucky like we don't have sinks or chairs missing because that's usually the thing. I usually have like sinks missing, chairs, bathroom, toilets. They always seem to vanish but I think I got lucky with the top 10 this time because last time so much was missing. Is we had like a little arch, you know, I loved how there's like the downsized rugs like stepping stones. The little cute kids bedroom, I really like how that turned out, like it actually resembles a child because kids these days are like grown up modern young adults when they're like six. And then we've got a little terrace area outside and I really do like this, um, like the canopy is like built with the fences with every other slab kind of like a, what do you call it, not checkers, um, Chess, kind of similar to that. I like how that turned out, and I just love that really large duck in the pool. And that was just me kind of being like, What is this in the walls? So, yeah, that was Shalia 77. So, in ninth place, we have Jolina T99. Is that correct? Or J I'm presuming it's a T for like the last name, so Jolena Jolina T99. And um, this was a modern build. And I've got to say, like, I'm not a huge fan of modern builds, and it's more that I cannot build modern builds. I'm very bad at them, but I love it when other people do them. I think they're so pretty and fresh and I really love like the natural lighter colours of this build. It's very open, it feels like it'd be very airy, like a great house to live in, especially in like the summer. So I do really like that and I love like all these different things like the, the fridge and the cupboard and stuff like that worked really well. That cute little skylight. So we've got like a toddler room downstairs which is always great because toddlers can't go. Well that's not what's upstairs, ignore me. The cute toddler's room and I really loved this kid's bedroom. I'm presuming it's a kid's bedroom. It could be for a child or a teen or a young adult and I'm assuming this is the parent's bedroom. Again I really liked how like the the wardrobe is like two bookshelves like attached together I really like that and that circular pool like how much time did those little planks of wood take to rotate and fit in perfectly like there's not one thing out of place like it's really neat lines the roofing is really good I know there was a difficult spot on the roof that a lot of people told me about so number eight is behind grey eyes and I really, really like this build I think this is the only one that did a grass roof it wasn't the grass roof that sold it for me, but I think it was the only build with a grass roof. Um, I had like little things that like reminded me each, each build, um, so I knew like what build I was looking for and stuff when I was like going back to find the top ten. And it wasn't just me, of course, that picked out. I had three friends helping me, um, or three family members technically, but they're basically my friends. And so this was a, something that all four of us agreed that we liked this one. 
Um, again, I really like the colours in this one. I I, I like natural colours, um, so like greens, browns, like blues, the sky, like anything that reminds you of nature, I really like. And I do really like the modern aesthetic of this build. And I like this room. It's like a presuming a teen's room who likes movies and stuff. And we have another bedroom, which could also, I suppose, be um, for the parents. And again, I like this build very, very much. I like the design, like it's kind of seen from the front, but the doors at the side, and you can come in either way because you've got that entryway. So yeah, that was my number eight. So number seven is Polish Plum Bob, and I loved this one so much. I thought the roofing was really good, and I liked the um, glass roofs. I think it just looks so pretty, and there's like a lot going on with the roof design that I really liked. And then we go into the build and you've got like the two rugs like downsized and mashed together and I thought that looked really pretty with the kitchen. And I really like the oven in the centre of the island. I wish we could get like, you know, the electric hob that just goes on top of the island counter. I'd love for one of those. Hopefully, maybe one day we can get that. I thought this bathroom was really pretty too. And then we move on to the upstairs. I love those pictures like upsized there. Oh no, they're they the original size. I can't remember but... I'm going to say upsized because I think they are upsized. And we've got a nice long bathroom. You know, it's not often you get very long bathrooms at this. Usually they're more squared, so I like that one. And then this like shared kids room, I'm assuming they're twins or toddlers, sorry, toddler room. And they've got like their own like little desk space as they grow as they get a bigger bed. And then I thought this pool area was really cool with that um, foundation, foundation platform roof, the little greenhouse. I thought this build was really well thought, thought, thought out and has everything you need. So then in sixth place is Schmelin. Is this pronounced right? Schmelin. I love saying that, by the way. If I'm pronouncing it right, I'm really happy. Um, and this build was just beautiful. Like, look at all those deckings on the pond and the landscaping. Oh, I just, I fell in love with this build. Um, yeah, I'm just obsessed. And I was, like, really impressed. Like, all these, like, custom-made, like, window types. Like, if the window doesn't look right for you, make it yourself. And that is all over the house. Like, the amount of time this must have taken. Like, you can just see me pulling it apart, like, wondering how they manage this. Like, a wall with a window. And then, like, all the, the planks and the beams and the shelves. Oh, that's brilliant. But, like, look how many windows around the house they did this with. Like, this must have taken so much time. I would not have the patience to do that. And we had, like, the little planks of wood. Like, literally, guys, I really did take your builds apart the first time I looked at it. And then I just had to show little things from builds as well. Like, putting the chairs behind the different sized rugs. I just thought this build was really, really pretty. Like, the mirrors at the side. Great bedroom. Like, I never would think to do this with the rugs, but... I'm going to start. I'm going to take ideas from all of your builds and the ones that didn't make it to the top 10. I'm still taking ideas from you too to put into my builds. Um, new bunk beds, um, them in there. I've actually just used them in a recent build I was doing. And I really like this like little custom play area. It's like, so cute. Like, where do you guys get these ideas? Do you make these up yourselves or do you find them on YouTube where someone else has created them? Because I think it's such a good idea. And then we've got the main bedroom. And I was like, how did they make this? Is like a window see-through. I actually realised it's wallpaper with these um, extra bits. I think that's a piece from Debug, like a fence from Debug. But it works really, really well. Um, and then a little, like, main, uh, what do you call it? A uh, dressing room. And then that, like, everything's just so well built and, like, put together. Like, I'm presuming tool models used? No, they are in Debug already that way. But still brilliant, like making all these like this little canopied area. And at first I was like, what is supposed to be here? Like random planks. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. There was a deck there. Like, how cool is this? It's so pretty. It kind of reminds me of like a retreat. Like you go on a retreat and it's like all like, you know, you hand your phones in. Like, it's so pretty. Look up on like the little scene area, those trees. I really did love these builds. This one is number five, Temptress33369. For a while, this one was number one. So looking at this, if you were thinking this is number one, imagine what has been done to beat this. Because this has so much work done to it. I was like, where do I even start walking through this build? So we've got a lot of terrain manipulation we've got a little side building which was in the rules you're allowed to add a side building a few people have done it with greenhouses and stuff 
Then we've got a pool and deck area over here, which is really pretty. This is like a, um, not, not a holiday home. Uh, there was a word for it. I can't think of it. It's in the description though of this video. And even though this is like an open wall, this was well allowed because they are door frames. So the walls have not been changed. They are just door frames or the open door frames, which is completely allowed. Um, beautiful kitchen area, then a little seating, like knock around the fireplace, which you're not going to need in that tropical climate, but still very cute. Little bathroom for the, the visitors to wear. You've got a little bedroom upstairs, a little, little tropical paradise, and a little kids' like area, and a little kids' or toddler room, and then the bathroom. And then we've also got, as well as this terrace, you can kind of see it slightly to the left, but I was trying not to show it because I wanted to walk you guys to it. There's a little area for weddings. Like, how pretty is that with those little blue rugs? Like, that is a great idea for making an aisle. So pretty. So now in fourth place is Lara Schlock or Lara's Schlock. I think it's Lara Schlock, um, I guess. And I'm pretty sure... She has a YouTube channel. I'm sure she's commented on my videos with that name. I'm just going to double check. Watch well, it. We'll double check later, but I'm pretty sure she has a YouTube channel. So, guys, check her out. Uh, all the terrain manipulation on this was amazing, or is amazing, not was. And you can see, like, the, from the glass roof, the patterns coming through, a little, like, nook under the stairs, cute little garage area with, of course, space for the car to come in. And you go outside, or down the steps, onto a little barbecue decking area, and then just a little walk through onto the woods, so you can head out. Such a pretty, pretty build. And I love the interior, it's kind of got that kind of old rustic kind of style to it, but oh, it's such a beautiful build. I do, do like this one. And I would never think to use that wallpaper. Um, so pretty, I think there was something there but it, it vanished and I tried to like re-download and build and it wouldn't come there so I don't know what was supposed to be there but amazing build with the magic floating book we're happy with that but that, that terrain manipulation that guys so number three Edenza this is the only thing like it nobody else did a nightclub and this was also very close to being number one and look at all those neon lights and this is also the only build I show you in night mode because it's just pretty like pinks and blues are my favorite colors and i'm really excited about this one guys like look at all that like you've got the two bathrooms over this side and then you've got like a little office space for your nightclub owner or staff you know to do all the accounts and then and this is like a jazz club by the way guys so it's not like a proper stand-up dancey club which you can obviously do but it's like a proper like chill out fancy kind of jazz club this reminds me of a stage with like the piano a little seating area for the audience oh, it's such a pretty build like i was so impressed with this one like i was so shocked as well like you guys have so much talent and in second place and there three again terrain manipulation guys i wish i could do this kind of thing i'm hoping maybe in like twenty five thousand years i might actually be able to get something half as good as this um so again i don't even know how you would even get the garage there i tried to like put it back and in the end it just wouldn't work so i just had to like click the back button they've fallen the stepping stones around into the garden onto that deck and you've got a pool bar sun lounging area jacuzzi and you can like take me some all the way around you've got this like fountain over in this corner and then we go inside and again modern clean crisp um there were a couple of chairs missing i took them back in again it's my game delete stuff occasionally um again i thought these glasses were actually like the movable ones from debug so i tried to pick it up and it picked up the bar because i never use the bar so i never know what's on them but really good idea to use that inside as like an island you've got the parents bedroom i you may have pinched this idea of those um things larged up resized and put at the back of the bed as like a bed stand thing i may have used that in a recent build because it was a really good idea and then we've got this like, kind of open stairway, which leads on upstairs into this pretty, pretty pink room with like unicorns. And I really, really like this room. And that giraffe is so cute. And you've got another room and you've got a toddler room, again, with like the Ottoman upsize and mixed in with the dressing table. A little kind of workout station with an art easel. Very pretty. 
very well thought out and I really like the roofs on this one as well like guys it's just so beautiful and now for the winner La Talapa Volante or La Talpa Volante this guys like technically there isn't any terrain manipulation but guys does this not give you the vibes of the secret garden like I this looks so realistic and stunning and I have no words the I mean there's so many that have a ton of detail but this one I feel like it tells a story like it literally just takes me like I, I, I literally am speechless every time I look at this build it literally reminds me of my favorite childhood film The Secret Garden and there was like four of us agreed on this build it was so so I don't know I think there was three out of one no, three out of four of us agreed for the first place. And obviously, this one got first place. Um, and I was definitely one of those people that wanted this as first place because, wow, guys, like, I'm literally, like, the thought... I mean, many of them had thought going to, but it just worked so well. And, again, please enjoy the pictures of the top ten in the same order. Thank you so much for watching, and the winner will be contacted um, in the next 24 hours.